Hey yo Magic Community, T1 Glistener Elf here, and I am going to be playing against a, uh, a viewer on the channel. Shoutouts to Chase. Chase is cool. Uh, I was on your stream the other night, or I guess it'd be last night from when this was recorded, and thank you for having me on. So now he's going to be on one of my videos. He says he's been following for about two years. First video he watched was me on, uh, on some mono white turbo fog playing against a good old fashioned, uh, let's see, uh, playing against Maze's End in Modern, that's right. And he and I are going to be practicing some vintage. So here we go. Let's see. <laughs> Glistener, yeah, that's a me. That's a me. Okay, so I, I like this hand. It has me going first. It's, you know, three lands, a creature, a mox. It's a little mana heavy, but we have a consultation and a brainstorm, so I'll keep as well. Keep. I would like to go Mox, Underground Sea, good old Blighted Agent, and then I'll pass the turn. Now I know what my opponent. Oh. No modern? Uh, I thought we were on Legacy, or a Vintage. That is what I, th I think I said in our little Discord conversation. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well, it happens. Do -do 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 -do. No. <laughs> One sec. I'm going to switch decks. How do I switch decks? Oh, I have to scoop first to make that happen. So let's see. Gonna insert a deck. Going to do Merfolk, because that's what I'm running in the league. Alright, well, let's try this again. Oh well. Hmm. I mean, yeah, you kinda, you kinda have to. Get a turn one vial out. Turn two lord. Yeah, it means I won't be able to hold up spell pierce, unless I'm... Ooh. Ooh. Five. Ooh, jeez. Yeah, I'll keep. I will absolutely keep that. Ooh, get my neck. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. There we go, something like that. Want to see something that'll make you laugh? Sure, why not? Let's go for it. Keep it on four, dang. Well, you do what you have to do, I guess. Shouts to coffee. Oh, you know what? Sure. Hmm. Alright, forest into Glistener Elf. Okay. <laughs> I see. We tapped the wrong one. It happens. Pass the turn. I'm gonna be dead soon, even though it's a multi four. You, you made me happy. You sure did. <laughs> so we're going to draw. Yeah, I'm not going to play conservatively. I'm not going to hold up. Nah. Nah, we're just going to run it out into an ether vial and pass the turn. And we're going to play with ether vial enough that we eventually remember to always hit it on our upkeep. This isn't MTGO where it reminds you, and this isn't paper where I can move it next to my deck so that every time I want to reach for my deck... Ooh, okay, there we go. Noble, sure. Makes sense. Okay. Take a two. Alright. Alright. 
You know, what I should probably do is just always add the counter to zero first. Now this is interesting. Um, I can play a Muta Vault just for some trading shenanigans. And I think that's even... that's even fine. Hmm... It's tricky. It's tricky. So if I play Muta Vault here, I won't be able to play Lord either by tapping mana or by getting it out this turn with file. Uh, but I'll have the ability to do... Yep, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I'll have Spell Pierce I can hold up if I need it. Um, this is maybe not correct because I have Lord Lord in hand. Alright, so fetching for a breeding pool. As you do. As you do. Okay, coming in tapped. Alright. Yeah, at night team, bruh. Oh, yeah, got there. Um, hmm. Like, obviously there's something. Now, there's a bobble. That's weird. But we're going to block. I mean, there, there's a pump spell, in which case I got rid of a pump out of their hand. Cool. Uh, this is a... Oh, hello. Hello, late Might of Olcrosa. And that'll kill it. It's dead, Jim. Alright, well, it got a card out. Alright, whose deck are we looking at? Looking at my next card, presumably? There we go. Yeah, without something like a fetch land, it doesn't make sense to target yourself. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yeah, I have my headset in. I'm, uh, I'm anticipating later that I'll be joined in a oh, geez. joined in a call. Ooh. Okay. Well. Play out a lord. And then I'll pass the turn. Pass it right on back. Let's see what my opponent has. Two cards. One of them has to be a pump spell, of course. As you do. Ooh, another noble. Hello. That's interesting. Alright. And then we'll block. Three and three. Trade. See if that'll work. All right, we got there. We got rid of the Glistener Elf. Oh, jeez. And what else? This is a Blighted Agent? Ooh, okay. We're actually not in such bad shape, I think. Um... Let's see. We're gonna untap, certainly. Um... I think I will like to bring it to three, and then we'll draw. Ooh, okay. Mutaval. That's that's nice. That's nice. It's not bad. Okay. Hmm. So this will let me I'll put out the Mutaval first. I will go to combat. Presumably just going to take the two, I would think. Three? Uh, two. Should just be two. It doesn't lord itself. It's not like slivers. I will play a benthic biomancer. And then I'll pass the turn. And I'll, of course, be able to adapt it and drop Thassa. So, we're in okay shape, I would think. That's a, that's a decently quick clock, unfortunately. Not much I can do about that. 
just try to outrace as best I can. Okay. Um, end of turn, we're going to say end of turn. We're going to flash in Thassa. And we're going to adapt. Gonna add a counter. We're going to draw a card. And presumably get rid of this land. Yeah, I don't really need you anymore, bud. Although the spell pierce doesn't do much except no, spell pierce I think has to stay, right? No, 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 no. Spell pierce is dead now. There's nothing that my opponent can play that spell spell pierce will stop at this point. Um, yeah, so we, we drop Spell Pierce. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, okay. And then we will go to my turn, draw a card. Ooh, that's not great. That's not great at all. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to scry. Let's see. I forgot to scry. Haha. Ha. Wonder what it would have been. Oh well, what's done is done. Well, we don't have devotion yet. We might actually have had devotion if I had scryed, because maybe instead of that land, I find something else, and I, uh, a merfolk, and I can play Silvergill out. And then we have devotion, and then we swing for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. And then we're in a much better shape. But instead, that's not what happened. So... Shoot. Shoot bug. We can still do this. Alright. 7. We can still maybe do this. Eight. Let's see. One, two, three. That's a... Uh... Oh, you're right, you're right. You're right, because it has the counter and the Lord effect. You're right. I'm, I'm, I'm silly. Alright, and then I guess I will... Pass the turn. Yeah, although I will admit, this is actually my first time playing Thassa since Standard. It's been a long time. Alright, do you have a pump spell? GG. So I wouldn't have had it anyway. Let's see what that would have been. It would have been a Harbinger. Oh, it would have been a Harbinger. Ah. Uh... Had I scried. Man. Man. Ooh, just don't forget your triggers, Jay. Apparently, the upkeep is the bane of my existence. And I'm getting beaten with a merfolk deck, to, or with it. Playing a merfolk deck against an infect deck. Alright. So, you got it this time. We'll do some sideboarding. So, obvious gut shot is obvious. I'm going to bring in Vapor Snag as well. Um, and what comes out? Well, let's see. So, I don't know if this is a deck that would have Dismember, but Kapala probably doesn't do very much in this matchup. Thassa is too slow. Hmm. Yeah, I believe that that's correct. So we're going to take out Thassa. We, of course, leave in Spreading Seas because Ink Moth Nexus. And I believe that Mistcaller has to come out, despite being a, a one-drop so it can block Glister Elf. I think that's alright to take out. Alright, and that's how we'll do it. So let's see, let me look at my seven. Yeah, Harbinger would have been nice there. Harbinger would have been game. Um, I see one land, Aether Vial, Gut Shot. I will keep it. Oh, you did it? Oh, dear. 
All right. You did it. You. Yep, you got me. I assume that's what it is. You did it! You beat Glistener Elf. To be fair, I think Glistener Elf beat Glistener Elf. <laughs> hey, what can you do? Alright. Turn one, Mutavolt, Aethervile, pass turn. Add a counter real quick so I don't have a chance to forget. You know, as you do. As you do. Jay, do not forget this on your upkeep. You, you may not forget this on your upkeep. Which fetch? Oh, Verdict Catacombs. Okay. Alright, let's see which one this one's going to be. It's a breeding pool into Glistener or Noble. Take your bets. Glistener Elf. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> yeah. Mutagenic growth to save it. We'll see. Nope, it's dead, Jim. Press F to pay respects. And then we'll draw our card. Ooh, we found our land. That's alright. That's definitely alright. Now, interestingly though, I can't play any of these. Uh, so, I think I should just animate Mutavolt. Swing for two. Dos. And then we'll say pass turn. So, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And you should be at 15. Fetch shock combat. Yeah, that, that should be it. So, verdant catacomb fetch, that's 19. Breeding pool shock. It's all good. It happens, man. No worries. No worries. What did I just do? Oh, I wasn't in the chat. No worries. Oh, hi, Ink Moth. Yeah, that's not good. Gotta hold up that Harbinger then, I suppose. Okay, Blighted Agent. Blagent. 420 Blagent. Okay. So we'll do this on upkeep, of course. Draw our card. Um, hmm. Well, I would actually like to draw a card here. So, Silvergill. And we will reveal uh, something my opponent hopefully won't care too much about. Miro Regery to draw a card. There's our land. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, um... My opponent doesn't know that I have two drops in hand, so we're going to... I mean, they pass the turn. They know about one card. It's a three drop. Hide that information, I guess. As you do. As you do. Let's see how much time I have left. Oh wow, we have lots of time left on the camera. All right. Meanwhile, Chase is uh, running to grab something to eat or whatnot. Hey. Give him just a bit. Give him a hot minute. In the meantime, uh, more coffee. Cause I already burned through all of this, and so now I have this. All right. Well, Forest Bobble, okay. Well, uh, no blocks. 
Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Any effects? Oh, we have stuff. Oh, so just taking the one. Jeez. Yeah, that's a thing, all right. Passing it over to me. Yep. All right. Well, I'll find out what it is soon enough, and that's all right. End of turn. Going to put down... Uh, a lord. Alright, and then, um, yeah, on, on my turn, we're gonna untap everything. Um, if I leave it at two, that's pretty obvious what's going on. Unless that's what I play next, which is probably is going to have to be. We can still win this. We'll hold up Harbinger. Uh, we're gonna draw. Ooh, a Boro. Okay, well that's interesting. If I had ticked it to three with a land being on top, I could have actually just hard cast Flash the Harbinger. Um, but I didn't, so that's alright. One, two, three? I think we're supposed to do this. Alright. Merfolk Regery. And then, um, go to combat. And with two lords, this is four, three, so seven. Yeah, we're uh, we're looking to build a board. We are looking to build a board. All right, and then I'll pass the turn. Hello. Yeah, threaten lethal on the next turn. Where's a uh, spreading seas when you need it? Mm-hmm. Uh, no blocks? Alright, what you got? What do you have? Okay. End of turn. Oh, hello, stop that. Gonna flash in Harbinger. Targeting Ink Moth. Put that back in your hand. Put that Ink Moth back in your hand. This is before it stops being a creature, so that'll do it. And yeah, when it ETBs, you may return target tapped creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. So now. Now we're going to untap, tick that up, draw a card, of course it's Trickster. And then, yeah, okay, we got super heavy on that one. We got that one pretty handily. Uh, we'll do a new game. Hmm, okay. Let's see what I have this time around. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, we have three lands. We have a vial. Trickster, Harbinger, Lord. You notice a problem. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. With only blue. But with vial, all things are good. So I'll say keep. All things are good. All things work out. Chase. Shuffling a lot. Alright. Draw one, draw seven. Yeah, we accidentally drew too many cards. It happens. It happens. What can you do? Eh. Eh. Whatever. Alright. Oh, down to six. Ooh, what's your infect deck look like? Not enough lands? 
Mine has uh, 21 right now, actually, even in modern. Uh, and I'm going to keep it at 21 even when Waterlog Grove comes out. Alright. See how these keep. Ooh, Pendlehaven into Noble Hierarch. Well, it's not dead this time. Not this time. So we'll draw. Ooh, there's our second. Ah, okay. I'm just going to play the island out. I don't think that I would like to give that information away just yet. Plus, it's more tempo if I can play the island and the cavern and get out one of these two drops. Probably this one. Hello? Okay, we'll just play out the ether vial then. And pass turn. At our zeroth counter. So that's a technical term, I'm sure, the zeroth counter. You know, I did forget to eat earlier. <laughs> I do that a good bit, though. Alright, Blighted Agent? Blagent? Oh! Um... Not a 1-1 one -one for Pindilhaven. Unfortunately, you can't use Pendlehaven on Noble Hierarch. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. Yeah, so attacking for 1... Other way. Hello. Touchpad. Touchpad Y. Okay. So this will be fun. This will be fun. Alright. Well. Geez, I wonder what I'm going to name with this one. Merfolk. Uh, we're just going to play out a lord real quick. I'm not afraid of a turn two or a turn three kill yet. I'll get Trickster out at some point, and that'll be fun. Because they can go for an Alpha Strike, and Trickster will just laugh at them. It'll turn it into regular damage. Pendlehaven Pump, okay. Float of green. Oh, this is float of green. Interesting. Ah, okay, okay. Yep, that would do it. That would do it. Groundswell. Okay. Um, you should target it with Pendle Haven. Pendel Haven in response. Unless you need to hold up um, vines or the defense. Or that works, I guess. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. All told, that is a lot. Okay, so noble for noble, that's fair. Uh, original one for Groundswell, Pendlehaven Pump. So it's one, two, three, four, eight. Hmm. Thinking. Yeah, I'm probably just going to take it here. Take it. If you have a mutagenic, you kill me. Yeah, and at this level, I don't mind take backsies. That's fine. I do that. I do take backsies, for better or worse. Let's see. Draw a card. Ooh, a silver gill. Interesting. Interesting. Although I, I think I'm tempted to just put up a bigger clock at this point. Hmm. Let's see. So I can flash in the silver gill just to draw a card. I can play a lord 
flash in the Lord for a little bit more damage. It's going to hit jump block now no matter what anyway, though. Yeah, we're going for the damage. Especially with double mute of in hand. I think that's alright. Now, this has flash anyway, just has flash on its own. So, going to go to combat. Let's, let's not hit the wrong button. See if there are any blocks. See what we have going on here. I'll ask the question, blocks? I mean, the answer's no, of course. It's actually not strictly necessary to keep the noble here anymore, but yeah, there's not going to be a block. You want that mana. Well, oh, it's back. No, 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 no. Yeah. I, I saw it grayed out for a sec. No blocks. So we're going to flash in our lord. Three. <coughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <clears throat> okay. And then we'll pass the turn. Ooh. Tickle up my throat. Down my throat. Whatever. However it goes. Alright, let's see how's this going to go. Is that a dist- Ooh, that's, that's actually brilliant. That's actually brilliant. Distortion Strike. Okay, it actually- No, it, it's not brilliant. It sucks. But we have both Merfolk Trickster and Harbinger, so we're going to be okay on this one. Um, I'm actually going to play- I have to do the Merfolk Trickster here. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way around that. I have to do Trickster. Yep. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, at this point, we don't need the Pendlehaven for the pump anymore. Yep. So there's a Blossoming Defense and a Become Immense. And, I mean, with the Blossoming Defense, I am actually dead here, unfortunately. Oh, I see. The reason it's tapped is because there's an attack going on. I see. Okay, that, that was, uh... There was, we didn't go to combat here, but that's fine. Just play the Become, or the Blossoming Defense and you're good. Hmm. Maybe it would have been right, it doesn't actually matter, maybe it would have been right to uh, play this in response to, no, no, not in response to Distortion Strike. Okay. Um. Response? You may want to, you may want to cast it, bud. Just do it. Yep. You got there. Yeah, it's a 2-1 for Chase. It should be a 2-1 for me, but I messed up Thassa in game one. Yep. A little bit of a delay there. You got there. Um, vintage? You can try that. Let's see. Let's try that. Yep, okay, so this will be where another game starts. Alright, see you in a sec.